Good morning from a very windy Kemlin Bay. Today we're going to take you to Harry's Mountain, but it is actually blowing, blowing a gale. Blowing a gale. Um, we've got a little dead cat on the DJI, um, but unfortunately on the other gear we've not got a mic, so we've just ordered one, but we're in Wales, so <laughs> we need to go Shropshire away to go and pick it up at some point. Hopefully the audio will be okay today. If it's really windy, then we're going to just scratch it and not do it today. But we'll see when we get there. Quick look at Kemlin Bay. Lovely. You can probably hear the wind. Mountain. Um, Parish Mountain gets its name mountain only in its name. It is not a mountain. It is however a hill that summits at 100, just below 150 metres just up there at the windmill. This is one of the old mine shafts that's currently been infilled. Uh, there's approximately 17. I think most of them have been infilled haven't they? Yeah. Um, but there's some still open for exploration. You can only go in them with a guide. Yeah, you can only go in them with a couple of guides. And we wouldn't recommend ever going near one without. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't go near them. Some of them are actually open. We've got a map, but don't go there. <laughs> some of them. We have been told by somebody who has actually done tours around here. Um, uh, he, he lives locally in, in Amlin, and um, he's told us that some of the shafts that are still open. Uh, could potentially have 80 to 100 meter drops in them yeah and they're not signposted <laughs> nothing so it's extremely dangerous we wouldn't recommend going without a guide sorry Look at the colours around here. Now the sun's on it. Look, is that actually? It's amazing. It really is. It's quite spectacular. You could spend all day here exploring. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. You could really spend all day here exploring. There's so much to see. So this is the viewing point, and it's the Great Open Cast, where the main mining was done. Um, if you look down there, you can actually still see some openings. Like in the 19th century when it was actually used. Yeah, you can see the Melissa. I don't like it, it one bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Run through it. Coming up from the middle. Can you see it? You feel wet. I am. 
I tried to keep my hood on it, but it didn't work. I think we've been beaten, haven't we? Yeah, we have it's been just, beaten. There's more rain. You can see rain coming in again. But we have, however, got some very, very informative links that we can put down below uh, with a map of the area, everything that you need to know about the routes that you can take around here and everything you can see here. It's a two hour, there's a two hour route around here, isn't there? Yeah. And it's, re it's really interesting. We'd have probably took the two hour route had the weather been all right. Mm. But yeah, it's beating us. So the weather beat us. Definitely got beaten by the weather. Yeah. Shame really, isn't it? But... It is. One of those things. One of those things. It's, it's even windier now as well. Yeah. But what we're going to do, we're going to tuck out of here and go down to Amluk, where we will show you where the copper got taken to be further refined. Then it was sent off, wasn't it? All around the world from Amluk. So we're going to go show you that now. That's where our good friend Ian's from, who gave us all the information for today. But unfortunately, we haven't given all the information. We haven't been right the way around the place. No. Like we said, it's a two hour, you know, it's two hours around there. And there's so much to do and see. But um, as we said before, it'll, if you fancy going, it's free. Take you down to Amlek now. Let's go to Amlek. Yes. <gasps> We're going to go get some um, sweet, potato, sweet potato fries as well. You're obsessed with sweet, oh. sweet potato fries. And we'll show you the loft because you'll love the loft. Yes. Oh. Anyway. We're, we're regulars there. <laughs> we'll see you there. Well, we lost you for a few days, but we're back. The weather was atrocious. It has been, hasn't it? Hmm. So, first of all, we did have our dinner, obviously. <laughs> we, we had to have our um, sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. Just up here at the loft, as long as Gary doesn't put his head in front of it like he always does, is a loft. That is amazing. Very friendly staff. Um, very reasonable price yeah, as well. Yeah. Extremely nice. Like I said they know us now. Yeah. Um, this is the tide out. <laughs> so it's very muddy, but usually this is filled with beautiful green water, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, Absolutely yeah. amazing. And then uh, Gary will explain to you what that building over the road is. That building there is the Copper Museum. And if you look to that way, yeah, that way, you can see the brick walls that are coming down or going up All on an slanted. angle on the slanted. And you can see the road above, the road above there. You can drive up there. <clears throat> That's where the horse and carts would bring the copper or from Paris Mountain. Yeah. Uh, on a horse and cart up the top of that road and back in the day these buildings had no roofs on them they were just stores um, and they'd go up the top road there and they'd unload the carts straight into the copper stores which were all along here um, where they would further refine um, and then send out the copper from this dock by boat by boat all over the world. So this is where we're parked. <clears throat> right on the side of the harbour. It's beautiful when the, when the tide's in. Yeah. When it's high water, it's lovely because it's just literally here. The tide is coming in now, but it'll be another couple of hours. It might be dark by the time it comes in. I'm pretty certain we actually have a picture the, um, that we could show you. And then we're off next. Where are we off to next? We've got another couple of Anglesey videos to come yet. Because there is just so much to see here. There is. We, we haven't even moved <coughs> off the north yet. Just blown away by, by all these little places that you just never knew existed. Although this week's holiday, so it's uh, been to a couple of places today and <laughs> straight out again. Because <laughs> it is not over busy, but it's been it's quite busy. It's busy it? enough. Which it would be in the holiday, so which is fair enough. Yeah. We're just, at the minute, we're just relaxing and letting everybody else enjoy it, aren't we? Yeah. And then we'll get back out there. When it's quiet again next week but we've got to go back weekend haven't we yeah pick up some parcels we're hoping for some uh, scooters to come either that or we've been ripped off one or the other <laughs> we'll see we'll see we'll be able to let you know <laughs> <laughs> have we been ripped off or will we get some scooters yeah also you might be um 
grateful to hear we have actually got a mic to pick up as well so yes. the wind noises <laughs> won't be so bad we'll see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and drop us a like as well if you like it give us a like we like to see the likes and we love reading the comments and we'll always reply yeah we're getting more comments nowadays aren't we yeah we love all the comments thanks for watching <laughs> see you on the next one see you on the next one bye